Jodie Craddock was described as an inspiration and a great ambassador as his testimonial was launched in style at Molyneux last night. At the second event of Craddock's testimonial year, locker room stories were told by former teammates to a packed out Sir Jack Hayward suite, there to honour the defender's 10-year Wolves career. Now you got into football, where did it all begin? I don't know, because my dad don't play football, never kicked the ball in his life. <laughs> First and most important thing about Jody is he's a gentleman. You know, he's just he's a quiet guy. But um, if you ever needed anything, you could ask him, and you know that he'd be there for you. And you can't really say much more than that. But a person, you know, he's a great guy, and um, he was a great captain of this club as well. Yeah, uh, when I came to Wolves from Charlton, you, you know of him, you played against them, and he's a he's an absolute you know machine. You know, and it's a, a very hard battle for me. But uh, having him on your team was uh, was definitely a bonus. You know. Uh, like I say, testament to him, you know what I mean, he deserves everything he gets. He's one of the gentlemen in football, proper professionals and, you know what I mean, a, a leader of men, you know, so uh, it's all about positives. I think maybe when you hit this three or four year mark at a club, I think it then becomes um, apparent that it's achievable and um, I think at that stage you start thinking, you know, it'd be, it'd be great to get 10 years um, here at, at a club and it's uh, a great club for Jody to get his testimonial at and um, as I said, yeah, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. So. Well, the best thing I can say is that for anyone who does 10 years at a football club, um, they must be willing to, to give their best, um, not just for themselves, but for the team and for what's around them, for the cause. And uh, that's the one thing I can say about Jody is that he gives everything for everybody and uh, puts himself second best. And uh, to do 10 years is a, is a magnificent feat and only certain people will do that. When you look back in your career and think, yeah, I've achieved the promotion with Sunderland and with Wolves and all the great people he's met and... You know, he, he told me once he's had the best career that he, he could have possibly had with his ability. So when I think no matter what walk of life you go into, if you can say that at the end of it, then you, you're ready to retire. He's got a great family, he's got the, his art as well, so he's got stuff to go into. Some footballers don't have anything to go into. He's got other stuff as well, so he'll be fine. There was a warm handshake between Mick McCarthy and Steve Morgan, meeting for the first time since the manager's sacking before Morgan happily snapped a picture of McCarthy with the supporter. The former Wolves boss paid tribute to the 38-year-old retired centre-half. We're all here to, to celebrate Jordy and Jordy's career, and he's, he's had a, a career of minimal fuss, which is nice to be able to say about you know, and, and, and of course, there was mention of that song. He really doesn't like it, you know. <laughs> I mean, we were all breaking our hearts laughing at it. I'm not sure you were going to Because football is a cruel environment, by the way. And I seem to remember we've actually sung it once or twice too, where they scored a goal in training. After dinner, lifelong Wolves fan and rock star Robert Plant took part in the auction where he paid £900 to play for 45 minutes in Craddock's testimonial next May. Funds raised to go to Birmingham Children's Hospital where Jody's son, Toby, was treated for leukemia. Next month, Craddock holds an art exhibition of his work dating back to his school days. We'll be doing a testimonial game at the end of the year, at the end of the season, and it will be Wolves versus Sunderland. So, we've had a good and uh, we've had a good and 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 we've had a good and